guys, here's our first purchase for the month of October. I got this from Chewy.com and it came to, hold on, don't want to show you the address, $122.53 for this stuff right here. Okay, so what's on it is the Older Dog's Dog Food, the canned cat food I give to Kitten, three bags of their dental bones, and a bag of puppy food. And then I also try, got this to try out. It's by Derm Magic. It's a shampoo bar for sensitive skin. And here's what it says. It helps. Magnum has a lot of dandruff. And as you also know, my three of my boys have allergy problems and sometimes Marley sometimes flares up into hives Rarely, but he does so I thought I would try this bar out. Let's see what it says on the back. Here's the ingredients So I thought I'd try this out. I'll have to let you guys know how I like it um, How it suds up how it washes them and all that and I thought it being a bar may make less waste like going down the drain some shampoos dog shampoos are really runny so i thought i'd try it out so i'll have to let you guys know in a different video how this works so that's our first purchase for october okay guys you're back with another purchase for the dogs and i don't know if i mentioned this but i'm also going to include truman because he's my pet too so this is going to be for all the pets um, when I do these monthly videos, um, since a lot of people wanted to know how much, how expensive it, it how expensive it, it is to have the pets I have. So, um, so I'm going to include Truman's, uh, food or medications he needs to in this. So had to go to the vet today and get some heart guard for Magnum. I also had to get him um, some flea, st uh, flea stuff, preventative, and I had to get Kitten. So he takes Revolution for heart guard and fleas for cats, and I got a thirty, um, a thirty count of the Apoquel for the three dogs who take Apoquel for their allergies. So. This will only last me 10 days, but I have, I think, 10 days still in the cupboard, so I'll probably have to get, I'll have to get another 10 days um, before October's over. And then I also purchased some bully sticks, which you see Magnum and Max chewing on right now. And I forgot to videotape that before I opened them, gave them to them. So this is what everything costs. Okay, so. This is for Magnum's Heart Guard and Flea Preventative. And this is for the Apoquel and $21.50 for Kitten's Heart Guard and Flea Preventative. So that came to $120.47. But with the Bully Sticks, it came to $136.47 today. On everything I bought for the pets so I'll be back for the next purchase you guys because <laughs> I know there'll be more this is only the beginning of the month <laughs> okay guys uh, we have some more dog expenses to show you guys about yes we do yes we do <laughs> I wish I did not but we do what are you giving me kisses for what are you giving me kisses for I love you too I love you too. Okay. So, enough with the kisses. Um, we bought more bully sticks. We bought four packs of bully sticks that came to $31.96. And then on the 10th, we had to um, take Marley to the vet for some vaccinations. Uh, the Parvo, Lepto... They gave him the Bordetella vaccination, and I've told them many times, I do not want the Bordetella vaccination. So, 
I have to get on them. And I should have been paying attention to more. I, they, I'm sure they probably said, okay, we're going to do the Bordetella one. And I probably wasn't paying attention and let it slip by. So for his vaccinations, it was $62. And he, we also found out Marley has a yeast infection on his paws. The vet noticed a discolor, discoloration in his um, hair, which I did too. Um, but I thought he was just doing it out of boredom. But no, he has a yeast infection. And I should know better because Max and Marley are prone to yeast infections. So I had to buy this uh, antiseptic mousse. It's by Henry... Sheen, I believe. I'll put it right here. Um, and uh, it says to apply to affected areas one or two pumps into the hand and massage under the hair or skin. Well, I've um, just been pumping it. I'll lay him on his side and I just pump a couple squirts on each paw and then I rub it between his toes and in his paws. So I've noticed Max has some discoloration too, so I've been using it on him too. And so I went on Amazon and ordered another bottle of this. They have this on Amazon. Um, it said they had one bottle left when I purchased it, and it was the only uh, company that was selling it. So if I could find a link to it, I'll link it below. Um, but I'm not sure if there's any more because it was the only bottle I could find. And it was, it was $22 and some change. My vet charged me $25.20. So I saved a couple bucks getting one on Amazon. So, um, yeah, so I got to do this to Max and Marley. And it says for two weeks. So, um, I'm having a hard time with these glasses, guys. <laughs> I know some of you know I got glasses if you follow my Facebook page. And they said it could take three weeks to get used to them. And granted, I didn't wear them when we went to Mackinac Island in Mackinac City. I just didn't want to deal with them. <laughs> but... I feel like I, when I wear them, when I'm walking around and doing things, the only way to describe it is like you're in like one of those house of mirrors where things look warped and like I turn too fast or something and it's just like, whoa, <laughs> you know, I was walking in Kroger grocery shopping and I kept feeling like I wasn't walking straight and I'm like, the, I couldn't, I had to take them off. I just couldn't shop with them. So I'm trying my best to get used to them, but it's so hard. From going to never having glasses to having trifocals. And I don't know. I I almost want to give up. I know I can't. But I almost want to give up on it. And just put them on to read when I have to read. Oh, it's driving me nuts. So, my total for the moose and the vaccinations was $88.71. And I already said what the bully sticks were. So, um, I'll be back because we have to take... Uh, Magnum to get neutered on the 20th and I have to take Miggy to get a rabies shot and rabies, lic rabies license too on the 20th so there's going to be more expenses to come. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. So I have some more dog expenses for the month of October um, to let you guys know about. And here we go. <laughs> you know what? This has been a real eye opener uh, for me uh, too. <laughs> maybe I don't want to. Maybe I don't want to know these expenses. <laughs> I don't know. I know my husband probably don't want to. Okay, so. Um, if you saw my video on these Sonic Sunbeam, 
I always want to see a Sonic Sunbeam. Sunbeam Sonic Egg Bark Device. I purchased both, I purchased two items. I ended up returning one. The one I ended up keeping, which was the handheld bark device, which I'll link that uh, video in the description box in case you haven't seen it. Uh, I did one where I purchased it and then I did a follow up on how it works. So I'll link both of those videos down below. So the handheld cost $19.99 and I had to buy a uh, new tag clip for Marley's name tag and license because his broke. That was $3.50. So that came to $24.90 for that. And then on, when was this? This was October 18th. Um, I had to take Mickey to the vet to get his uh, rabies three-year vaccination and his license, which I need to notate that on here. Let me get a pen, guys. Hold on. My chair's swiveling. Okay, I forgot. I had to also, besides the vaccination, I had to send into the county a $25 check for his rabies license. And that's a three years rabies license. So, so $25 for the license. Uh, the vaccination cost $22. And then they did a, what they call fine needle aspirate, aspiration. I guess that's what it's called. They took it, Mickey has two bumps, um, one towards his tail and one on his side. So they took a needle and um, pulled some stuff out because they figured it was probably a cyst, which it did. They both ended up being just fatty cysts. Um, that cost $24.56. So we'll add the $25 for the dog license. So $56.11. So that all came to $71.56. And then on October 20th, we got Magnum neutered. So his total cost for, okay, this is the total, okay, this is for his neutering. Um, and then his uh, flea meds. And he also had a heartworm test while he was there too. He needed a, at six months, they do a heartworm test. So we had that too. So for the heartworm test, neutering, and his flea medication, $257.60. And then while we were there, we figured might as well get the heartworm and their allergy pills. <laughs> and uh, Kitten, his name is Truman, but we call him Kitten. Um, get his heartworm and flea meds. So, for, let's see here, how did they break this down? Don't see where they did. Okay, so for the Heart Guard, a 12 pack of their Heart Guard, and for their a 90 count of their Aquaquil, which is their allergy medicine that three of the dogs take, came to $242.93. And then the Revolution for Kitten that he takes, that uh, covers his heartworm and his fleas. It's just a topical I put on him, and it covers both those was $21.50. So let me add this up and I'll be right back. Oops, I don't have to add it up. It's right here. <laughs> I'll add it up. So for all of that on that one day, the total came to $540 and one penny. So that was an expensive day. <laughs> so yeah. And this is his certificate of neuter. That don't need to be in there. So, it, today is, what is today? Today is October 23rd. I have, what, eight days to go? Eight days to go. I'm hoping it'll be zero more dollars until the end of the month. So, once the end of the month rolls around, if I don't buy, actually, you know what I should add on there? I had to buy... For $15, I bought two onesies for Magnum when he was neutered. Um, uh, there's a picture on my Facebook page <laughs> of it on him. He hated the uh, plastic collar, the cone, the cone of shame. So 
someone had mentioned they used a baby sleeper and I thought why don't I just get a onesie and then I'll snap underneath and then he won't be able to get to that area right there to mess with so I bought him some onesies so that was $15 so once the end of the month rolls around I will add everything up and let you guys know what we spent for the month of October okay let's do a quick family farm and home haul <laughs> What I bought. Okay, they did have some uh, bitter spray. This is by, so I'm using my phone to video, forgot my camera. Na Nature Vet Bitter Yuck. No chew spray. So you can spray it even on, excuse my nail polish, guys, gotta redo my nails. Um, I know you don't care about that, but I just saw my nail and was like, oh. <laughs> so you could also spray it on wounds, so safe enough for that. So I'll have to try this out and let you guys know how I like it. And then I got this, which I've never seen before. I'm assuming it's like, stop that. So it was, an, it was only $7.99. And I know at PetSmart that stop that spray is like $17. I can't remember exactly. $17 to $20. So um, I have the um, Sonic Egg. But I thought maybe like when I'm sitting on the couch, if I see Magnum go towards that spot, this may get his attention. Because since I'm using the Sonic Egg for the barking, I thought maybe this would get his attention to keep him from that spot in case that spray don't work. I don't know. $7.99, I figured it's not a bad thing to have on hand. I'll have to let you know if this works just like the Stop That. And then I got two collars. I buy the collars here. They're reflective. And they're only $4.99. So they always have a different assortment, so I have different colors. And uh, Marley's collar, this wears off and just gets dingy looking way faster than the other boys. So I don't know if he has more oils in his skin um, that do that. I'm not sure. So I just picked up a couple extra collars um, to have. And what else did I buy? Bought some, um, I know a lot of people hate rawhide, but I picked up some rawhide twists. Ten of those. So if you minus the 10 bucks for my cord, I spent 33 on the dog. Okay guys, that last clip was from a previous video I did and I had forgot to share it in, for my um, expense video. So I threw that in here. Um, so October's over and I added up everything and we ended up spending, sorry there's a glare on my glasses guys. <laughs> we ended up spending $1,047.85 for the month of October. So I know that seems like a lot, but we had Magnum neutered. We had some vaccinations this month. I had to have a couple bumps on Miggy checked out, um, which ended up being just fatty tumors. Um, and we have a lot, the, the medication they take for their allergies is expensive. Um, you know, heartworm adds up. So I hope this video was informative to those who are wondering how much we spend on our animals. Again, I'm not making these videos to complain about how much I have to spend. I know our, having multiple animals is expensive. I'm doing these videos for those who are curious on the cost of having, you know, multiple animals. We have six. So um, let me know if this video was informative to those who wanted to know. And I think I'll do these for like till next October and we'll see what my um, yearly bill, <laughs> my, my yearly cost of six animals ends up costing me because this has been very informative to me too because I never really um, kept track of it and it's, uh, it's pretty eye-opening. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.